what what pressures, what competing pressures were placed on the National League to do that? And what logistical problems does that early end of the season present? And did it have to happen? Taking it back a step, um, when steps three to seven were cancelled um, of the of the national game, um, right at the very, very early stages, that was done by the FA. So to talk you through um, kind, of, kind of how it came about, um, the FA took the decision. They, to be honest, um, at that point, they they said that they consulted widely and, and they quite clearly hadn't. Um, and it became pretty obvious, though, fairly very early on, that um, the majority of people actually agreed with the decision. We actually surveyed our community-owned clubs. Over 80% of them said that it was actually the correct decision to finish the season, expunge the records, etc. Um, and that's, pro- that's for a number of reasons, about four different reasons that that made, made sense to do that. Um, a- alongside um, the fact that um, the contracts of the players would end at the end of April. Um, these are predominantly small clubs um, that um, you know, wouldn't have the money to sort of pay people um, beyond that sort of a stage. If you let it go any longer, there was a chance that if you restarted it, even within a month, um, the teams would have um, changed immeasurably and the squads would be different. Um, certain teams would play their under 18s because of a lack of money. And so the competitive balance would go out the window. Um, there's all, you know, as, as things have moved on, it's been become clear that it, it was a good decision because there was the need then to prepare for what will be the next season whenever that happens. And that obviously could be quite a long way away. And obviously there's always a chance that the, the virus could come back as well, which would be create all sorts of problems. As far as the, the national game is concerned, well, they're, they're still going through the process of negotiation on this and, and they're involving their clubs. They're voting on what's happening there. Um, logistically, it's not um, a major issue at this moment because, of course, we just don't know when things are going to take place. They've got to a stage within the in steps one and two of the national game in the National League itself. Um, where they've agreed that they're going to end the season, but they haven't agreed on what basis they're going to do that, and they will move into uh, into playoffs. So um, that's you know it's been a, a consultative process that they've uh, they've gone through. But at the end of the day, I think they probably are going to be led by what happens at the top of the game and what happens um, with the Premier League, the EFL, and what what then sort of drips down into. Uh, into that level as well. They can only make certain numbers of decisions, I think, that are relevant to them. But um, yeah, I mean, it's real challenges um, right away across the board. But as I say, I think the um, from from the perspective of what, what has happened so far, I think the right decisions have been made. Um, really, really difficult to know what will happen because it's all going to be led by what the government advice is, basically. <laughs>